When Asian Americans are attacking affirmative action in DEI and standing for socioeconomic entitlement to the exclusion of others, especially black Americans, who pave the way for the civil rights that we have here in the United States, and including lower income, recent arrival, and especially Southeast Asian Americans, I will fight against that all day, every day, because regardless of race, it's what's right. But fortunately for me, multiple polls from multiple sources over multiple years have consistently shown that a majority of Asian Americans across most Asian demographics support affirmative action. So it's looking like the Asian Americans who are attacking affirmative action in DEI are in fact the traitors. And this becomes especially apparent when you look at the organizations that are bringing these Asian American cases against affirmative action. Like Edward Bloom of Students for Fair Admission, who had been attacking affirmative action in higher education for decades to no avail with white plaintiffs, he brought the cases against Harvard and UNC using Asian American plaintiffs. And the Pacific Legal Foundation, which was founded by members of Ronald Reagan's welfare reform team, who brought the lawsuit against Thomas Jefferson High School. And the Manhattan Institute, which filed amicus briefs against affirmative action in the Harvard, UNC, and Thomas Jefferson cases. Now, without infantilizing the Asian Americans who have signed on to be represented by those organizations, they have autonomy, they know what they are doing. But those are not Asian American-led organizations. Those are white-led, conservative, and libertarian organizations. And if the plaintiffs knew their history, they would be aware that those organizations represent people who only care about Asian Americans insofar as they can use this as a wedge to cause harm to black Americans. Now, contrast that with Asian Americans advancing justice. One of several Asian American-led organizations who filed amicus briefs in favor of affirmative action in the Harvard, UNC, and Thomas Jefferson cases. So it's looking like it is the Asian Americans who are attacking affirmative action in DEI, knowing that their actions are causing harm to black Americans and lower income, recent arrival, and especially Southeast Asian Americans, who are in fact the race traders.